Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at a game called Sensible Soccer on the Amiga CD32. I know I did a brief glimpse of this when I first got the CD32, but I was asked to uh, do a proper gameplay vid, so here it is. I hope you can hear that. Now I'm sure a few of you have been wondering why I've not posted uh, a, a, an update for a, for a couple of days. Basically, uh, Ian Wilson, 1978, suggested there's a bit of a tribute to Luke that we shouldn't bother putting up any gameplay videos for just for the weekend. I mean, it's uh, been quite a strange one since he left. I mean, as, as you know, I, I, did a, I did a video about it myself. Uh, but yeah, it has affected quite a lot of people. You know, there's been uh, quite a lot of upset about it. And it's a shame, shame he's gone, but... Uh, I suppose and it's sad but at the end of the day we've all got to carry on with what we enjoy doing and uh, we all like playing games so uh, yeah let's, 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 let's get on with this video. The other sad thing especially for me is uh, today was the day I would have been flying out to Japan. Obviously with this stupid bloody broken leg I'm stuck at home. Let's go for just a friendly pitch type. Try hard, random. Let's be uh, different. Now, who should we play? Uh, so I think I did England the last time I did a clip. Let's be uh, a bit random. I'll be Scotland and we'll play Turkey. I bet they're rubbish. <laughs> It's also going to be a bit of a, a soccer day today because another video I'm putting up after this is going to be Soccer Kid. Another, that's just a standard Amiga game, but we'll get to that next. Now I know absolutely nothing about football, you know, I'm not a big fan, I don't support any teams or anything like this, like that, but I do love playing some of the older football games, just because of the playability, and especially when they're like this, you know, it's just, it's, uh, hang on, it's losing that then. This is more like pinball than, than, than football, to, to put it honest. Oh, come on! I completely lost my train of thought then. I was just saying, uh, yeah, let's, let's go back to Japan for a bit. I've uh, thankfully managed to sort out a booking over Christmas. So I'm going to be going, I'm going to fly out on about the 20th, 21st of December. Never been away from home over, over Christmas, so it's going to be strange to say the least. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. Oh, I thought that was going in then. <laughs> oh, and they've scored. Bugger. I'm sure there's about to be some people who don't know much about football or soccer, whatever you want to call it. Especially over in America if you're a subscriber. Uh, basically, two big nets at either end. Oh yes! It's gone in! What a goal! Yeah, two big nets at either end, you just have to knock it in and avoid the, uh, the goalkeeper. I mean, this is a, a very, very fun two-player game. We used to spend a lot of time on it. As a, well, the the Sensible World of Soccer edition. Again, I've got a funny feeling I've mentioned that before, probably in a past video. You know, it was an absolute corking game to play with a couple of mates. Though, sadly, I don't know anyone who's into uh, retro gaming that lives close. But uh, I always try to go to retro events. I mean, I've, I've said before, I've, I organised one in the past a couple of years ago. Basically, when there was just nothing similar going on on at the time, and it's really taken off in the UK over the past uh, past couple of years since I did that. But there's a big one coming up in September called Retro Reunited. There's a website and everything for it, so it'd be worth having a look on Google if you fancy the idea of meeting a load of uh, retro gamers and playing on games and arcade machines and so on. I think they've also got a load of guest stars turning up, like. The guy, one of the guys behind making this game, actually, uh, John Hare. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, actually, because of the leg, I still won't be able to drive when it's on. It's the 13th of September. So one of me, I'm going to try and get one of my other subscribers to uh, take me. 
I don't think he knows. He doesn't. Oh, yes, we've scored. He doesn't know yet, though. No. <laughs> and we're winning. Awesome. All down to pure skill. Yeah, I mean, the controls for this, I mean, I'm playing it on a Mega Drive pad, but it's it, it's so responsive. I mean, there's a version of this on Xbox Xbox Live. But, you know, you just you just use the one, the one button to do everything. To dribble, to shoot, to pass. And it, it's just such a... Oh, God! It's just such a bloody good system, the way it works. At first, when you first start playing, it seems a bit a bit fiddly and a bit oversensitive but you know after a couple of matches it just it just clicks is the best way to put it yeah I was gonna say I mean for somebody like I, said, I don't really like football and I suppose it's a bit odd that I'm doing the equivalent of a football special today <laughs> with two bids about it Is it? Oh, oh, it's Monday. Bloody hell! That's another thing I've, I've noticed in, in uh, since going in, coming out of hospital. All the days seem to uh, merge into one. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! I was hoping I'd catch that then. Come on, lad! Pass the ball! Pass the ball! Come on! I do love this game, it's absolute, it is an absolute belter, it is so much fun. I don't know what, if the same applies to it being fun to watch. I suppose we like with all sports titles, it's, it's all about the playing rather than the, uh, the viewing. Come on, come on. Oh! Off the crossbar. And it's game over and we've won! <laughs> Yay, I've actually a one for one to not embarrass myself on YouTube. <laughs> we play exit. Well, I think that's as good a time as any because we wouldn't get uh, another match any time. Uh, yeah, but as always, guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, keep your eye out because uh, the Soccer Kid video is on the way.